Amos, Gram. We keep running into fools who forget what side they're on. See, this is why we need a new Imperial Senate. Someone who can keep these idiots in check. We have a war to win. Officers like Grom need direction, not a leash. Looking to the horizon is all very well, Saul. But remember to look at what's going on around you. With that Beradium at our disposal, we'll be at the forefront of the attack on the Nadiri dockyards. We got caught off guard at the Xavian Abyss. That can't happen again. In one move, Captain Carroll took us from a near shipwreck to a key military asset. She'll have a plan. Let's see what's next. Our victory is nearly at hand. We have the location of the Nadiri dockyards, and the Overseer is almost back to full strength. Our only obstacle now is Vanguard Squadron. I won't let them catch us off guard. Not again. Admiral Sloan has a plan to draw Vanguard Squadron and other defenders away from the Nadiri dockyards. The Admiral has ordered Titan Squadron to play a part, and she wants you to take the lead. For this mission, at least. I trust Admiral Sloan's decision. You've proven yourself capable many times over. Just don't let it go to your head. It would be a pity if you turned out like Colonel Graham. Our Baradium munitions give us the firepower to take on the Starhawk, but the situation isn't that simple. The Nadiri dockyards are protected by a massive rebel fleet. We cannot engage the Starhawk until it is vulnerable. Admiral Sloan's strategy is simple. Lure the Republic fleet away from Nadiri with simultaneous attacks on enemy targets across the galaxy. We've been assigned to attack Moncala. We don't have the numbers for a pitched battle, so you will have to strike fast. Your mission is to sow chaos through multiple attacks, moving quickly. These refueling pods are your first target. Next, attack civilian transports and any medical frigates supporting them. This will certainly draw out Anvil Squadron who are defending Moncala. Stay ahead of them if you can. Titan 3, you're ready for more responsibility. You will lead the assault. Make this fast and brutal. They've earned it. And while Titan attacks Moncala, two battle groups will launch strikes at Onderon and Gorth, disrupting Republic supply lines. Ah, at ease, pilot. Reports of your achievements have crossed my desk with unusual frequency. Those accolades have been well earned, Admiral. If Titan Squadron's a weapon, our newest pilot is its cutting edge. Just as I'd hoped. Then consider Moncala a test pilot. Great talent requires greater challenges. Agreed, Admiral Sloan. And I look forward to filing my next commendation report. I'm going to overlook your unapproved acquisition of Colonel Grom's beradium supply. Although I hope you both learned something from that encounter. Colonel Grom is efficient. After all, he did successfully defend his depot without using any of his own resources. But an Imperial officer must also show finesse if they are to command effectively. We understand, Admiral. Completely. That will be all. All pilots, press the target rate environment. Seeing you rise to the occasion, taking lead on this mission, it reminds me why I keep fighting, despite my age, despite the fatigue. We're one step closer to the Starhawk. Ride this confidence, but don't let arrogance get the best of you. We're all expendable, but not every pilot is replaceable. When we lose a good leader or loyalist, you can't fill the void with just anyone. Good pilots inspire those above and below them. When you're in charge of a squadron someday, remember that. 
For now, let's focus on the mission. For this mission, you're authorized to fly a TIE fighter, Reaper, or Interceptor. Your choice.
reinforcements to my location. Nicely done, Titan. They will feel that loss keenly. I've got our laser cannons warmed up, ready for whatever's next. Next target. Titan 3, those transports are our next target. Looks like Anvil Squadron is already here. Titan Squadron, these ships are under our protection. Leave now or be destroyed. There's a third way, Anvil. You won't like it. Cut through those Anvil defenders and destroy the transports. Understood. Those transports are fleeing towards Moncala's planetary defenses. They only delay the inevitable. Good shot. Someone's trying to tail me. You see it? Take it out. No time to waste. Get rid of those transports. Unnecessary evils weigh heavier than others. Second thoughts. An observation. Project Starhawk must be destroyed. But we shouldn't forget the price. Transport is done for. You're welcome. You'll suffer for this, Titan. Try me. Worry about yourself next time. Taking damage. I had it under control. Take it out. Take it out.
frigate. A medical frigate? Is it carrying patients? No. Back to stims. But losing medical supplies in wartime is far more devastating. I want that gone. Ah! Took a hit! I want that gone. Says Titan. Return to the Overseer's hangar if you need emergency repairs. This is it, Titan. The Silver Coronet. The pride of Anvil Squadron. And a chance to strike an even greater blow. Titan 3, lead the assault. Demonstrate your capabilities. All right, 3, lead on. We're wasting time on the Coronet's shields. Fly underneath them. We can attack the hull directly. That's my kind of maneuver. Three, it might help to take out the coronet shield generators. Those gills on its hull. Titan, don't waste time on damage sections. Hit new ones. I'd say you owe me one. 
Objective complete. Music to my ears. Thanks for making it happen, three. Huh. Impressive. The Republic will rush to defend Moncala and leave Nadiri wide open. Excellent work. Our final target lies ahead. <laughs> 